Let me just say that I'm uh, happy to announce uh, this, this evening that uh, we're going to be starting a study next year of the Minor Prophets. We're going to take a year to go through the 67 or so chapters that are in the 12 books of the Minor Prophets. So we'll go at a pace about one or two, uh, two or three really, uh, chapters a week. Uh, I'll be supplementing it with other teaching and other topics as well. So Theo Faith Channel will continue to produce content uh, to edify you and to encourage you in your reading of God's Word, as well as to educate you. Minor prophets, uh, despite the label that's attached to them, have a major impact. In fact, we can say that many minor prophets make a major impact, not only in terms of God's revelation, but in our life as well. So let's think about that for a moment. Uh, many minor prophets, 12 books. Uh, we finished last year uh, with the major prophets with the book of Daniel. If you grab your Bible, I've got mine right here. And uh, see where Daniel is in the index. The minor prophets start with Hosea and go to Malachi. So those are 12, 12 books of the Bible that we'll be going through this year covers a period of time of about 300 years. So it's a major revelation from about 720 B.C. to 400 B.C. Uh, ends with the book of Malachi. Very important uh, period of time uh, because it tells us about uh, another perspective on Israel, Israel's apostasy, and helps us to look back on that so we can look to today and draw parallels with what's happening in the church, and perhaps learn from Israel's mistakes. So it's got a past significance, a present significance, as well as a tremendous future significance, as it has many, many prophecies about the coming of the Lord in the last days, in the latter times. So we'll see that as well. So the major prophets, or the minor prophets, are uh, many. 12 books, uh, major impact, causes us to look back, look to the present, look to the future. It also has a tremendous uh, amount of information in there about God himself. We could call this the theological impacts of the book. Uh, over 200 times God says, I will, in this Bible. We see his, in these books, we see his sovereignty on clear display his sovereignty to judge, his sovereignty to punish, and his sovereignty to restore Israel. And I think you can see how God's sovereignty continues to work during the church age. We also see 44 times in these books that God specifically says, I am. He identifies some aspect of his character, some attribute of his personality, maybe some metaphor that uh, communicates to us who he is. For example, in Hosea, he is like a husband of an adulterous woman. Finally, we see there's 18 specific explicit commands in these 12 books that come from the Lord, as well as, interestingly enough, 177 questions that the Lord poses to his people. And as you know from your New Testament reading, the um, when God asks for ask questions, it's often to prompt us to reflect on our own lives. So it gives us the opportunity to be somewhat introspective and see where we stand with the Lord. So it'll be a major impact in those areas as well. Uh, the personality of God, his commands to us, his desire for us to know him and to reflect on our own lives in light of him. So as you can see, uh, these books will be significant. I'm really looking forward to this study. I think it's a good supplement, follow-on, for looking at the minor, major prophets. And will probably supplement very well what you hear in church, whether it's from the pulpit or from a Sunday school teacher. Uh, because my experience anyway is in the church, it often is focused on the New Testament. Uh, one... Uh, professor I had called the uh, Old Testament the clean pages of the Bible. Some of you have commented that you are now marking them up pretty diligently, and you can continue to do that. 
It also provides a, a major impact because I think uh, knowing the Old Testament background of the New Testament, after all, the Old Testament was Jesus's Bible, Paul's Bible, John's Bible, Peter's Bible, uh, by knowing the background that they had and recognizing quotes and allusions uh, from the Old Testament, it makes our understanding of the New Testament uh, that much richer, that much fuller. So I pray that you continue to uh, participate in the daily or this time twice or three times weekly reading in the uh, Minor Prophets through 2023. It's a great resolution to have. It'll be easy to do, and I think you'll be rewarded by it. So plan on setting some time aside. Uh, I'll put a link down below in the notes uh, to uh, the reading plan for the year, as well as a link uh, that you can sign up for the Theo Faith newsletter. And if you sign up for that, you'll get an email every time I issue uh, a new video, either on the Minor Prophets or on some other a topic that might be of interest. So God bless you, brothers and sisters. Uh, look forward to a great 2023. I pray that by the end of the year, you'll know more about the minor prophets and their impact and importance in the Bible than you do today. God bless you.